I thought we played well, and um, we needed to bounce back a little bit <clears throat> after our loss Tuesday. So, you know, that was good. Um, I'm not sure if I ever want to do this again. That was kind of different emotionally, you know, coming back here, playing against the guy you love, competing against him. But it was really neat to be back. Saw a lot of familiar faces. Um, just spent about 10 minutes with David Rosell, the guy who got me up here. So uh, it's been kind of cool being back here. Um, but uh, we'll head back. And we've got exam week coming up. <clears throat> so it'll slow down for us a little bit before we play Indiana on Saturday. Mike, Mike, as those uh, as those first ten minutes were were going on and the hens were playing pretty inspired, were you kind of wondering what you I, uh, got yourself into I and what and, myself, and what did your guys start doing really well to yeah, kind of take no, control? I thought this is the worst idea I've ever come up with. <laughs> you, get, you set me. I said they set me up. They set me up. They bring me back. And they set me up. <clears throat> and Martin's team did really play well and kept the heat on us a little bit in the second half. I love what he's doing with the program. Young guys, playing them, getting them more comfortable. But uh, I, we did some good stuff tonight. We shot it, you know, we shot it well. You know, we haven't shot it great since we've been back from Maui. Maybe we're breaking the ice again and shooting the ball well. What does it do for you when you get Gibbs and Farrell in such a rhythm like they were tonight? Yeah, we need that, Tom, so much. Those two guys have to score for us. And um, I thought the both of them were feeling good, playing a little bit faster. We're pushing, yeah, on purpose, yeah. We're pushing the ball down the court a little bit more. And I think it gets them some looks early, and we don't have to play against a set defense. And I think it helps them, it helps our guards. What did it do for you where, where, where Rex doesn't get anything in the first half and he got like 10 in that seven minute stretch to bust this one open? Yeah. You know, and that's, that, that's a veteran guy who, who just knows. He's going to be in there. It's going to come back around to him. <clears throat> I like how he lets the game come to him. And then, you know, he really has got to guard a guy, too. And we put him on a – we always put him on a good offensive guy. Uh, hi, Mike. Um, you were here – you've been here for at least one night, right? Is that right? Say that again. You've been here at least one night or – we got in. We got in last night. Okay. Did, have you, did you do anything today around the area? <laughs> really, really like didn't. You know, we got in. We practiced. We came over here and shot. Um, I did not go to Klondike's. Hmm. I should have, because I could use a good crab cake. <laughs> but uh, I didn't get down there. I have a feeling some of my staff got down there, though. <laughs> I think they. I think some of my staff missed curfew. And uh, what are what are some of the things about Martin that you think will make him the, the right guy to lead this program? He's got a great ability to connect with young people. You know, he's a confidence-giving guy. His demeanor as a player is his demeanor, I think, as a leader. He's calm. He's poised. Doesn't never panic. He was like that when he played for me. And I think he's on the right track with good young players, playing them, and, and building their confidence. Coach, can you coach? Can you talk a little bit about a little bit more about the emotion and the reception you received yeah. uh, walking out there? That was really awesome to come out and see a lot of familiar faces, and um, that that was very touching. It was a little emotional for me. Um, there's so many memories in this building, and you know we practiced last night, shot today, and I just kind of looked around and while we were stretching, trying to remember all the really good stuff that happened here. I was so fortunate to be here. Um, this place set me up for the rest of my coaching career. And, um, you know, I draw on the experiences I had here in Newark every day. Newark, excuse me. Good to see you, too. You sneaking in. I didn't even recognize you over there. How you been? Good. You look good. Thanks. Like two guys right here. Look at this. <laughs> You, you played that game your first year down at Duke. I mean, could you kind of relate to what Martin was going through? Yeah, tonight? yeah there's no question. Um, and that was good for us. It was an ESPN2 game. And we played well. I think Tyrone Perry made seven threes in Cameron that night. And so it was just good for our program. First year coach, get some, you know, exposure. Um, you, know, you know, for Martin, 
Maybe he had some recruits here. The place was rocking. What a great crowd. Brought back memories. This place used to be exploding back in the day. I saw where we had 22 of the sellouts or something that run. That was an unbelievable run. <clears throat> but those were, that, that brought back memories of an America East championship game. Full house. Place was rocking. Yeah. He's found some players that can kind of build this program back to make it even more. I love the fact that he played Anderson and Daly the whole darn game. I'm a believer in long minutes. He just played them the whole darn game. You know, kids are just going to get so confident when they know they can play through mistakes. <clears throat> it's a really gifted young group, and I'm not sure I want to play them when they're older. <clears throat> 